Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I just did a video on joining these curves. And Eskimo, a good now a good internet friend of mine, suggested hitting Control Shift J to open up another Docker, but that didn't work unless you have the shape tool. And then you can go Control Shift J, and it comes up with a tolerance, and you can set it on anything. And let's just cancel out of that and just find out how how far apart these things are. They're 0.06 away. Now you could go safely as long as there's no other nodes around and do that quarter. So we're going to get the shape tool, select on the item, go ahead and select them both. Control shift J. Set it on a quarter of an inch and it's going to close those two nodes. Now we can make a hot key for that just like we did earlier for the other one. It's almost the same thing. The other one might do a little bit more from on some curves and stuff, but let's go to tools, options, customization, commands, and then let's just, that, that one isn't in the Docker. So on that one, you have to use the magnifying glass, the search, and we're gonna type in join curves and hit enter, or find next. So it's looking for them, and there they are. There's the one, and there's the new one that I didn't know about. So we're gonna click on it, click close, shortcut key. You can see it's Control Shift J. That's all well and fine, but let's just hit a period, assign it. So now you've got both, hit okay. Grab your shape tool, hit the period, and hit OK, and you've closed those two nodes. Now the other one has some more options. Let's hit the V, and you can close it. Uh, if it wasn't a straight line, you could chamfer it, fillet it. So this is extend basically the same thing. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.